Follow me down to a hole in the ground While I wrestle your dress, taste the dirt she bound On a stranger's breath, take this night to your death Well, Kiwi singer Tom Cunliffe has just released his second album and he's currently in the midst of his tour, which is taking him across both islands. He joins us now. Welcome, Tom. Yes, welcome, Tom. Good to have you here. Really nice to have you here. Uh, nice. First up, I want to ask you, this is, I'm going to keep this really, really easy, so tell me about yourself. Did you come from a musical family? What's your background? Um, my mum's musical. Um, she, she made us play violin and piano when we were younger. Um, she made sure that all the kids had a musical bone in their body. So she made you play violin. See, that, that, that's a weird thing for a mum to choose because the practice with the violins, I can imagine, could be quite excruciating. Well, it wasn't, that, it wasn't even her choice. That was like my granddad's choice because he used to f play fiddle in an Irish band in Manchester oh, wow. back in the day. Although I did make my son play trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> and then when did you move on from the violin? Were you a teenager? Uh, I stopped, yeah, sort of 14, 15. I kind of gave up piano and violin and music left my life. Uh, but then I picked up guitar when I was at university and it was kind of an easier way to learn was just casually and at my own pace rather than you've got exams and yeah. you know it's more like homework. But I bet you look back on that now and you're very pleased that your mum made you do it. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like now I love playing piano. I can't play violin. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> well here we have a violin for you to show us. Just, no we don't. It's all right. You're off the hook there. So what would you describe your music style as? I'd say it's folk music. Um, if you, if you think folk music's just a guy with an acoustic guitar, then it's not that. Mm -hmm. um, but I've, I think of folk music as more like storytelling and, um, and a tradition of, of uh, humorous songs and love songs and political songs. and so. Paul Kellyish kind of stuff. And exactly, mm -hmm. Paul Kellyish kind of. I love Paul Kelly. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting, because I would assume you were probably listening to maybe Eminem, Tupac when you were growing up. Yeah, totally. So. Yeah, Eminem, Tupac were were massive when I well massive influences when I was like sort of seventeen. When I was like six, 16, 15, The Strokes released "Is This It," and that was a that was a that was great because that kind of took us away from new metal, which was right terrible. Um, <laughs> but then uh, yeah, so they were an influence. Hip hop was a massive influence, and then hip hop there was a sort of natural pre progression story storytelling wise lyric wise into folk music yeah that's interesting because i don't see that natural progression from <laughs> hip hop to to folk but when you think about the storytelling side yes. that actually makes sense yep, no, yeah right. yeah well like now you have the whole history of music to like look back on it's not so you don't have to be linear about it um, so and you can access it all on your phone mm. yeah yeah <laughs> totally that's so great. this uh, so so now howl and whisper was released two years ago that was yeah. your debut album and this yeah. one is out right now two years between albums is this a d very different sound for you it is a different sound it's a it's more electric it's more varied there are some songs where it's sounds pretty rock and roll and there's some songs where it's just me and acoustic guitar and one where it's just strings underneath me singing so it's very varied um, but it's, uh, it's an exciting new sound and I, I like to explore different sounds for different songs. Yeah, and I, I like the fact that an album is varied, but is there, is there an overall theme when you approach an album? Do you kind of sit there and go, what am I going to focus on? Or is it just individual song after song after song? Lyrically, there's definitely like solid themes throughout it. Gender, um, sort of social equality, um, love the the society's sort of idealized notion of love and that that's changing or we're trying to change that um, to be more inclusive. Mm. Um, it was produced by Ben Edwards and Dave Kahn wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it almost didn't happen is it, that right? Yeah true yeah it, so I asked Dave to help produce it and he was like sweet we'll, um, we'll get the guys from Marlon Williams's band because he plays in that band and uh, th we only had a couple of weeks, and we only had that two weeks because they couldn't get visas to play in Russia. <laughs> so, so Marlon Williams was going with his band to Russia? Yeah, yeah, and he ended up having to go solo because they couldn't get visas. Which is a shame for him, but ideal for you. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Marlon. <laughs> yeah, true. Thank you, and, Red Tape. And I think Dave helped you with the first album, uh, yeah. didn't he? So why did you want to use him again? Was it because, you know... Well, we're really good friends. Right. And also, he's just got a really good... Um, He's got great ideas when it comes to music. He's, he's 
experimental and he doesn't just do the same thing and I just like I like his ideas and I like him as a friend. I suppose also if you're doing things from on your own a lot it's good to have those outside influences sort of giving you a little bit of creative ideas as well. Totally we we kind of approached it in that you know we'd have ideas for where a song could go but then once we got down to the studio it was like sweet if they've if someone else has got a better idea we'll go with that. No it's a brilliant album well done on that it's awesome Thank and um, this tour obviously great chance for people to come and see you but you got a lot of support acts as well tell us a bit about them because we can belly for money when we come and see you tom <laughs> yeah yeah cool well um tomorrow we're playing in uh at caroline in wellington um, with french for rabbits nice. french for rabbits are a great band um also the uh, woman who's playing guitar with me louisa nicklin she's going to play a set as well she's great and then when we go down to dunedin charcoal burners are going to play and um and when we hit christchurch We've got Ryan Fisherman. So lots of support acts and lots of great musicians. Excellent. On lots this of tour. chances to see mm. you as well. Hey, yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks uh, for having me. Looking forward to hearing you actually play live. Tom Cunliffe's album release tour continues in Wellington tomorrow night before taking in Hastings, Dunedin, and Christchurch. You can check out his website for details. And Tom is going to be performing for us right here at the end of the show. Yes, guaranteed good time if you head along to one of those gigs, I am sure, and stick around for that awesome song. <laughs>